2005, mm -hmm, I think. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, I, I have to go. Yes. I have to see her. Nice. And so I went to California and yeah. did the angel therapy practitioner. And then I did mediumship, I believe, the year after. Right. And yeah. So mediumship, um, is that something we can do today on today's show? Because that's a lot of, uh, lot of people's questions sometimes. Yeah, mediumship is not my uh, your my strength. Pr my strength. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I can do it. Yeah. And, and well, let's see what we get. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. Because I mean, it's not my I'm first op position. Yeah, exactly. But it's something that yeah. we can do. So when, if anyone out there is looking for some help on the other side with their angels, guides, soul, life purpose, give us a call seven two eight one thousand one. Diane has offered this wonderful book on loneliness, uh, angelic wisdom, comfort, and hope as a giveaway. We've actually got four books to give away today. The number to call is seven five nine eight six two two. To give us a shout the open uh, the lines will be open all week um, just as a quick thought uh, and a reminder about our giveaways uh, you do have to come to Rogers TV station here on Richmond Road to pick up your prize it's part of the contest rules um, so if you can't pick up your prize unfortunately you won't be able to get your prize so do uh, do give us a call if you can come to the station we'd love to give away four copies of the book it's a wonderful book. What made you uh, inspire you to write the book on angels? Your workshop. My workshop. <laughs> Your workshop. I'm everywhere. Years and, ago. And, and when what, did I do this? Over yes. 10 years ago, I right. think. Right. right. And, um, what about the workshop kind of set you on the path of well, writing? Well, it... It taught me how to channel. Oh, lovely! Yeah. Then that was it. I yeah. I learned how to channel, and it was your um, talking to angels workshop. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I learned how to channel, and then I just just started channeling. Right. And, and what does it feel like to you when you're connected? Uh, what is it? It, it just. Uh, Oh, if it's it feels angelic. I mean, it just yeah. seems so weird, but it does. Uh, you it can loving, re yes, warm. and you can feel the you can feel the difference when it's an angel speaking to you and when yeah. it's not, right? right. And, and right. I drop the pen if it yes. feels non-angelic yes. when the yes. vibration is different. But it, every the messages are always loving, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Angel messages are always yeah, full positive, of love and support yeah. and mm -hmm. encouragement, and they never have a negative thing to say. Yeah. And and so I just I just felt like there was a lot to say, and I would sit it's a down beautiful with book. a question. It Thank is a beautiful you. book. And I would just channel messages and, yeah. and Off put we them go. together. Speaking yeah. about channel messages, Monique has been waiting. Mm -hmm. Monique, you're on the line. How can we help you today? Oh, hi, Jennifer. Hi. Uh, I, well, I, I'm aging. Oh, <laughs> we, we all are. Yeah, are we all? <laughs> and and I, I just feel right now, I am at the point of my life that, you know, I have, I... I have many, like I, I do energy work as well and everything else, but I feel like I would like to drop everything, everything aside yes. and go somewhere for a month. Yes. Uh, and, and I don't know, like okay. go Can, crazy. Yeah, well, good. Get naked. Do it. <laughs> I went to Burning Man. That was my, uh, that was my uh, claim to fame. So I got, oh, I got several cards that just popped out. Isn't that funny? Hang on. Let me just get to the camera going here. Oh, God, I got more than, oh, boy, lots of cards. Hang on. So all good for your question, mm -hmm. if we can get the camera guys sort of, I'm making them work today. So uh, friendship, playfulness, uh, celebration, enchantment, and forgiveness. Interesting that I feel, Monique, you still have to forgive yourself from, for something uh, around your, in your age of your 20s, 21, 22, 23, 24. Not sure what that's about. I think that's kind of a block that's still there holding you back. Otherwise, my sense of this retreat is fantastic. There's two things coming to my mind. I see California, I see uh, Costa Rica, and now I'm seeing Bimini, um, the Arc Resort in Bimini, which is on the coast of the Bahamas. Um, how luxurious can you go? Are you looking for a local retreat here? Or are you looking for something you can actually go to and stay and be in like a, an ashram -y kind of retreat space? Uh uh, I, I think I would like to, to, like, it's almost like I need somebody to hold my hand <laughs> and then show me something for a month. It's something like I missed out. Uh, it's almost like a part of my life that I, I would like to be be taught or yeah, well, see, be guided. I, mm -hmm. to. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the word yoga retreat would be something that you need to Google. Um, and yoga? Yoga retreat. Mm -hmm. And I would pick something that's more generic, like conscious raising, self-development, life purpose, yoga. Uh, I would look at Bimini Bahamas, as I said, Costa Rica, and some co coast of California. Um, I don't know why I'm getting outside of Canada, um, so take that for what it is. I also see um, somewhere in Quebec, um, more like saint sauveur uh, saint Rovet, um, Tremblant, like you might be able to find one there as well, more locally, if, if traveling is, is not per permitted at this time. Having said that, 
I, I think you just need to connect with the community. So do you know about anyone's group circles, um, you know, where you can go once a month, sit with people, get energetic, you know, stimulation through meditations and journeys and stuff like that. That's what they're telling me. You also work with uh, St. Saint, um, Bernadette. Do you know who St. Bernadette is? No. Okay, so she's a Catholic uh, canonized saint. Uh, she was famous for channeling Mother Mary. Uh, in fact, the uh, La Grotte here in Ottawa at Notre Dame um, Cemetery has a shrine to St. Bernadette. Uh, she was an educator, a, a, a school teacher of a kind, and a writer. So I suspect that, Monique, you have a lot of teaching wisdom inside of you, perhaps even a book yet to make manifest in the physical world. Diane, what do you get from Madame Monique? Uh, go. Do it. That's <laughs> what I got from the beginning. Just I go. Heard, do it, do it, do it. Um, I, I agree outside the country, and if I were working with you, I would try to figure out what your blocks are to not going. What is your reticence and your fears about going on your own? Because I think it's something... You do need to go on your own. It's something to do yourself, mm -hmm. to get some personal power. Uh, I agree with the whole yoga stuff, but I yeah. would also uh, include something creative. Do, go do something creative that's going to be a lot of fun and that's going to get your creative uh, juices flowing. Right, because I do see, I'm getting. I see yeah. creativity regarding writing. So, so uh, I'm not saying you can't be creative outside of writing, but I, I do feel, again, because of St. Bernadette, um, there's a writing connection. So Google St. Bernadette, start bringing her in as a new devotional figure. Uh, start looking for retreats that are within your budget, within your, your ability, and uh, take a chance and go. Yeah. And let us know how it goes. And you're going to have a great time. Yeah, me too. I think that too. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Thank you for your call. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, James, thank you so much for waiting. Uh, we are on the air with you today. How can we help you today? Hi, James. Yeah, hey, there. excuse me. Yeah. Hi, James. You're on the air. How can we help? Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Um, so I have this block that's been uh, kind of stuck with me for a little while. Um, I'm working with my business partner right now, and he's both a business partner and a spiritual mentor. Okay. So I feel like he's a really important part of my life. However, ever since I got with him, there hasn't been much work that's been happening. He seems to be avoiding a lot of the main issues, and I'm not really sure if I should stick with him. I mean, he is a friend now, so I feel bad leaving, but I want, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what to do at the moment. Yeah. I don't know what you're getting. Yeah, so um, may I ask, like the romance card came up, so either new romance is coming through James or... Y there's no strange relationship in the in this business partnership, is there? Is there is there unrequited love in it? Like, does he like you? Do you like him? Is there some kind of strange uh, connection that way where you feel you can't quite o resolve it? Yeah, I'd say. I mean, there is a level of love, right? I've known this guy for quite a few years, and he's a good friend. So it's almost like I don't want to hurt him by saying these things, you know? I'd yeah, but I, I, I feel that he might love you more. Like, you're talking love as a brother. You're talking about love, you know, platonic yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. I'm, I'm sensing that there is an undertone of ownership, possession, mm -hmm. or I made you, you're mine. You know what I mean? Like, like do you yeah, get I a sense? Feel that. Well, okay. So, so for me, when you were talking right away, I think you've outgrown him, and I think yeah. you've got to stand up on your own. Now, you, you leave any relationship with love, though. You, you never leave in anger because that's karma that's going to mm -hmm. come back to you and hit you in the butt somewhere else. So you always yeah. have to speak your truth. You always have to forgive. You always have to be authentic and as truthful as you can. But I do think within the next three months, you need to start thinking about a positive exit strategy. Uh, what would you say, Diane? Yeah, I completely agree. And I think actually that romance dynamic is yeah. from a past life. Oh, Bring okay. Yeah, in. yeah. Looping into it. feels into a... very old. Yeah, I and I also, sure. yeah, yeah, and I also, I also felt uh, in terms of the block, like you said, you, you've outgrown him. Um, it, it feels like he's putting obstacles in the way because he doesn't, and again, I, I'm thinking unconsciously, um, doesn't want you to move forward. He wants to keep you to himself. And, and so he's, he, he's causing the, the obstacles. Right. Yeah. So, so try to, um, again, prayer, forgiveness, letting go, asking whatever devotional way, angels, guides, God, energy, it doesn't matter what you call it. Yeah to be the correcting force, like let truth and love be the correcting force and meditate with your own presence, your own soul, your own wisdom on what is my highest and greatest good. That's the real question. I do feel being independent and on your own is what the universe is trying to push you towards right now. And can I just yeah. add, I'll ask Archangel Michael to help you cut cords between you and him across all lifetimes and all dimensions. Right, so you can Google that on the internet, yeah. uh, Archangel Michael cord cutting, uh, listen to the cord YouTube. Cutting video and that will help a lot right away actually yeah. good good point all right so for let sure. us know how it goes excellent yeah for sure yeah thank you thanks for your all call right, thanks a lot, guys. that was cool because I, I immediately felt 
yeah. an undertone. There was something yeah, behind the something scenes, that kind there. of thing. Yeah. Um, so when you're sitting with people or however you do what you do, what is people's main question? Like what's what's out there these days for you in your client base? Like what are you seeing people going through? Or I mean, right now oh. we're in a solar eclipse tomorrow, a new moon. Um, month of April has been very sort of interesting energy. It's been very difficult for some people. Mm -hmm. It's slingshotting us forward into 2014 and uh, beyond. Well, with getting... angel readings, it's always the same thing, right? Um, Health, love, money, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, always those things. Which is human. Which job you know, should honest, I have? And how about question. my children? Um, when, it's, when it comes to EFT, um, a lot of anxiety and depression, I think. Right, right. A lot of anxiety and depression. What is depression for your training? Uh, again, I, I don't want to uh, challenge the medical community in Ottawa, which is very entrenched in their beliefs. My feeling of depression is soul sickness, that the soul is unhappy. Yeah. It's gone down a path. Yes. And it wants a recorrection. I do not believe it's um, uh, a DNA thing. Like, no, like that, no. That I mean, that's why I do the energy. Something in the yeah. brain, you know. I think it's an emotional reaction to life and with easy, non-invasive techniques like EFT, yeah. angel therapy, all kinds of things, people can really shift. Yes. And I, I just I, wish people knew more about it. So how I, can people, we got one minute left for break, learn more about EFT. Your website? Uh, my website, there's a bit of information. Anybody can email me at diane at reiki-light.com. Right. I'm happy to answer mess to answer yeah. emails uh, right. and point you in the right direction. The website used to be emofree.com. Right, EFT, I Google it. Yeah, you Google EFT. Gary Craig is the yeah. founder. Okay. Yeah. And we'll talk more about that when we come back from break. So stay tuned here on more Gen Zen Magic Monday. <laughs> Welcome back to Magic Monday here on Rogers 22. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host for Gen Zen, a practical call-in show offering you free advice uh, and hopefully helping you, inspire you to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. Be warned, we're very practical here. We offer homework and it's all about doing something different to get different results. My guest is Diane Lentier. She is a Reiki master, angel therapy practitioner, um, EFT practitioner, and a working mom and a very highly creative bag lady. Yes. <laughs> so a bag lady, tell us about your creativity that's been birthed since all this I, great energy flew through you. I have three They're lives. They're fabulous, by the way. I, I think I have three lives. I have the regular day job, job pays mom, the bills. Yeah. married. Yeah. And then I have the angel energy, right. that life. And then yeah. I have the knitter, obsessed right. knitter, spinner. Um, bag lady. I make spinning bag, uh, yeah. knitting, knitting bags. bags. I make project beautiful. bags for knitters yes. and spinners. I right. have an Etsy shop and, yes. and so I do all three. So a lot of people yeah. who listen to the show um, are uh, women um, who may be mothers or may not, but are juggling and struggling to live a human life and yet develop their creativity, their passion, and spirituality. Yeah. How do you do it? Like what, what are the, people need to know that there is a cost to doing it all. Mm -hmm. I don't think when people stand up there and say, I've got it all, well, they've got a nanny, they've got a hairdresser, you yes. know what I mean? They have a housekeeper. It's easy when you have help. 
You know, it's yeah. harder when you're you're the mom manager, the co, you know, the chief. Yes. How my, do you balance that or how did you make it happen? My priority is my son. Right. Of course, yes. I do my energy work in the evening after mm -hmm. he goes to bed. Right. Uh, I make the bags in yes. the evening after he goes right. to bed. So late nights, and, like yeah. little elf. Yeah, evenings. Yeah, and you yeah. have probably an understanding husband. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not so, and then well, you just have you know, to deal with it. you just do. You just tap him. You just <laughs> Tap, tap. Uh, no, I mean, my house is a mess. I, I'm not the best house cleaner. Right. But, I, but it's you're doing more what important you love. me to do what I love. Right. And the, the angel work, the energy work, that is, uh, you know, bags could go away. Right. The energy work is just who Changing I am. Changing people, right? It's a part of me. Changing people. I live right. my life with the angels right. constantly. Right. I talk I, to I them, too. I talk and, to you know, God, it, I couldn't live without it. Let's talk about that, because that's actually what I say to people. I don't know how you guys do without it. And people think I'm a bit of a cuckoo bird, but you know what? I'm one happy, crazy cuckoo bird. Do you, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, can you just basic angels versus guides versus deceased loved ones? How can people tell the difference? A lot of psychics in the community will say your dead dad's your angel. You and I know that's not true. Right. It's similar in its like scope of being a helper, but not technical. So how do you tell clients what's the difference between So my, my understanding of it, my yeah. belief, not yeah. necessarily what right. is true. Right. But yeah. how what is your I, truth? Yeah, my truth is that um, when, when people die, they, their souls go back to the other side. And right. I think there's a, there's a certain amount of time that you spend sort of getting back to life review, the life journey of yeah. being just soul. I have had people, um, when I connect, yeah. I've had some, I connect to a deceased person and they're already energy and light yes, and, yes. and just something else already. Yes, and right, and right, sometimes yes. they're still with us and yes. sometimes they're pieces. Yes. Uh, but they're, I would say, a lower energy. Mm -hmm. They can help us, but not to any extent further than what they could have done in real life. I That's think. exactly right? what I say in my class. Yeah. You learned well. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, guides are, are people who've been on earth before who can help a bit more, but I, I don't tend to um, to dwell with the guides because mm -hmm. I think some of them can be mischievous and they, they, oh, they can be. you know, they're not yeah. necessarily 100% love. Right. Angels have that pure energy, right. are 100% love. Right. They bring you strength. They